Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain the determination of mixture FC and acetic acid against NaOH as a toitrin. Uh, first, we should know that HCl is a strong acid, while acetic acid is a weak one. Uh, therefore, HCl will ionize first, and when it completely ionizes, uh, acetic acid will start to ionize after it completely ionizes. Okay, now we will start. Uh, the procedure of uh, determination of HCl only using methyl orange as indicator. Now I will show you how the procedure is going on. First, transfer families of the sample on, in, in your contact plus are sampled here is mixture of HCl acetic acid. Then add five drops. Then titrate with 0.1 normal HCl till the point end point is determined. Uh, the end point is determined when the color changes from red to orange. Okay? First, I'm, I'm gonna show you why did we use methyl orange as indicator for the determination of HCl only? What do you think? Uh, we use methyl orange as indicator here because methyl orange range is from 3.3 to 4.4. So, it changes its color in this range in the acidic range so it uh, so it changes its color in the acidic range just like HCl therefore it's suitable for the determination of HCl here only and then the determination of a total uh, mixture total mixture using phenolphthalein as an indicator I will show you how the procedure is done on. first transfer in a completely new flask uh, 10 ml of our sample or mixture, the HCl acetic acid, transfer only 10 ml with that. After uh, washing the uh, conical flask well with the distilled water, then add 10 uh, drops of phenolphthalein indicator, then titrate against 0.1 normal NaOH uh, till the end point is reached. When did your end point uh, will be reached? When the color changes from colorless to pink. And now I will show you why did we use here phenolphthalein to indicate the total determination of our mixture? Because phenolphthalein indicator changes its color uh, from 8 to 10 in the basic medium. So it's suitable for the determination of total mixture here. Hello everyone, first we're gonna determine the concentration of HCl acetic acid. Here you should wash the conical flask with the distilled water. Then put 10 ml of HCl acetic acid in the conical flask. After that put 5 drops of methyl orange in the conical flask, the color will be red. Then put in the burette in EOH till the zero. Then start your titration. The color in the middle of titration will be orange red, like here. Then it's full orange. Put in EOH in the burette. The second titration wash the distilled water, the conical flask. Then put HCl acetic acid in the conical flask. Then put 10 drops of phenolphthalein. Here there is no color because in the first titration it's colorless. Then the color will be pink. At the